What's up, Marker Hits? It's Karen from Art by Karen E. Haley, and today I'm doing a video about my recent illustration that I made for my Redbubble shop. Uh, I made this illustration specifically to put on Redbubble shirts and uh, things like cups and all of that sort of thing. So I just wanted to share with you my process and uh, what I went through while I was creating this illustration. Uh, this is available on my Redbubble shop and on my Store Envy. I have a Store Envy shop now for my original pieces. If you're interested in getting a one-of-a-kind original artwork uh, from me that you can have for yourself. Um, so yes, this is available as an original on my Store Envy. And I also have it on a whole bunch of things on Redbubble. So I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, why I decided to do this illustration the way that I did it. First of all, uh, I'm going to talk about <laughs> the ease of editing. The ease of digital editing um, was probably the first thing on my mind when I was making this. I wanted it to have solid, thick outlines, and I wanted it to be bold but have a limited color palette, so I went with uh, salmon pink and denim, blue, and these are colors I chose partly because I wanted to have a shirt that if I was going to buy it, I would wear it with jeans. I love jeans, so I wanted something that would look good while, while I was wearing jeans, and I also wanted something that would look nice if I decided to change it up and wear it with maybe a pink skirt or something. So I wanted it to be something that was dual purpose and that people who like to dress differently can wear, so maybe someone who's more casual could wear this shirt, or someone who likes to dress up uh, a little nicer could wear this shirt as well. Um, I, the main thing with ease of digital editing is that the thick outlines makes it a lot easier to select the illustration and uh, separate it from its white background and make it easier to um, turn into a PNG, which is a file that has transparency, which means that I can select the actual shape of the character and the flowers that is around it, and not worry about having this big white rectangle around the character. It's really, really uh, off-putting to me to find a shirt that, like, the shirt's white, but it also has this big final rectangle of white around the character. It just looks really cheap and poorly done, and so I really wanted to make sure that the thing that's printed on the shirt is just the dragon and the flowers around it. Uh, I really do love dragons, and I feel like there's kind of a lack of feminine dragon art on t-shirts and things like that, and so I kind of wanted to fill that void partly for myself. I really would like to have this t-shirt, and uh, that's kind of why I designed this one. Um, but also just because I feel like there's a lot of uh, ladies out there that like dragons that, I've, I don't know, personally I, I don't care for like the really super high detailed fantasy art on a t-shirt. That's just not my clothing style. I wanted something a little more graphic and bold that uh, would have a, feminine, a more feminine touch, I guess is what I'm trying to go for here. Uh, and I really like it. I think that it's pretty, and I think that uh, if, I, if I owned the shirt, I would wear it quite a lot, so <laughs> that's one thing that I really tried to think about when I was doing the illustration or making the concepts was, would I wear this or would a friend wear this? And I definitely would wear this as a shirt, or uh, maybe get something else with it on there, but uh, yeah, I don't know, I really like it, I'm happy with it. Uh, I'm sure that as I get more, uh, excuse me, more experienced in the art of <laughs> making designs for my red bubble shop, um, I'm sure that I'll get better and figure out how to make something even better than this. I think that it's pretty good, but I know that there's some improvements that could be made. Uh, and I just, I really hope that you guys like it as much as I do. Uh, I had a lot of fun filling in all of these flowers. Um, it was kind of tedious at points, but then I realized I really needed to add it in some darker values to make the illustration pop, so 
Uh, once I started doing that, I really enjoyed the process of coloring the flowers in. And then to finish it all off, I added in some highlights, and that really makes the illustration just look so much more finished. Um, and what you don't see is all of the editing that I did <laughs> in Redbubble, trying, or not in Redbubble, in um, GIMP, which is like a free editing software. Uh, all of that editing, just cleaning up the edges and selecting the image and making sure that everything was smooth and not jagged and ready to go on a t-shirt. So that's a big, big time use <laughs> process for this uh, type of illustration. Um, if it's intended to be cut out and separated from its background, it can be quite the process to make sure all the edges look nice. And uh, yeah, but in the end I think it's worth it. And again, this is available on my Redbubble shop on several different types of merchandise, and it's also available as this original, which is on my Store Envy shop. So if you are interested, you can go to the links down in the description. You will also find links to my Twitter and Instagram accounts down there. So if you have not been following me on my social media, um, you will get a lot of sneak peeks that you won't see. So that's a lot of... Uh, I do a lot of activity on my social media networks, and you'll see um, things go up in my shop before I do videos about it, or you'll see sneak peeks on the book I'm working on. So if you haven't been following me there, I really recommend you go ahead and do that. And if you haven't subscribed to me yet here on YouTube, please do, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching everybody, and I will see you guys in the next video.